everybody welcome back to my channel this is going to be a updated vlog video this is my second official vlog video it's not really going to be an actual like vlog video from um like what i've done all day today but this is just going to be one of the more raw videos that i'm going to be um starting to post on my um channel i only have one up now so this is going to be a continuation of that video so today i want to talk to you guys about my um career path um, where I'm going and just to follow up with what I talked about in my last vlog video. In my last vlog video I mentioned that I was going to be going to take my TEATS exam and that's the exam that you take when you want to get into nursing school. So I'm coming on here to tell you guys that I did not get into nursing school but I am okay with that. I did find a new passion in skincare and I'm going to be going to school for um, aesthetics. I'm actually in school right now this semester. This is my second week and um, for those of you that do not know what an esthetician is, it's pretty much a person that specializes in skincare. So I'll be able to help people who are suffering from acne, um, rosacea, different type of um, skin problems that you would face, I would be the person that you can come to to help with. And I wanted to get into the skincare business, not only because right now I've been dealing with some skincare issues myself, but I have found a new passion in doing eyebrows. And I want to have the proper certifications in order to do that and to further my um, eyebrow business. Uh, right now, eyebrows are very, very important in the beauty world. And um, I figured why not go ahead and do what I need to to be professional with that. So, like I said, this is my second week of school. Um, this is the first official week because last week we started school on Tuesday. And um, we have school on Monday through Thursday. So, Mondays I'm in class from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. And Tuesday through Thursday I'm in class from 8 a.m. to about 1.45 p.m. Maybe 1.30. Um, so... The first week of school has been crazy. Of course, I don't understand why they do this, but you know, when you first start school, you don't get um, all your syllabi from all your classes, so you don't really know what books you need unless you order from the bookstore. And if you have your financial aid, you can do that. So I um, ended up ordering my books a little bit late, but I did get them on Friday. and they gave us a big pack of um, work to do um, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean when I say they gave us a big packet of work to do so this is the workbook that we're using and this is the thickness of the packet that we had to turn in this morning mind you I just got my book on Friday so this was 53 pages of work um, from the book then we had to also turn in 85 vocabulary words that had to be written down on index cards today. So I have been extremely busy and I also have another class online where I've had stuff to turn in too. So, um, so far I really love what I'm um, learning. Um, I found out that I can also continue to further my education by going to nursing school because I can and eventually I believe I will um, be a medical esthetician and a lot of people who are in the medical aesthetics fields they they have some type of um, nursing degrees so considering that I always wanted to be a nurse and now I'm going to school for skincare I can put the two together and there you go as mentioned earlier, oh, my phone keeps it keeps falling. I'm having a little bit of issues, but okay, there we go. Um, considering that I mentioned earlier, I've been having a little bit of skin problems myself. I normally did not have any issues with my skin. Growing up, I might have gotten maybe one or two pimples here or there, but I never really had an issue. Um, my issues started, um, I want to say they started sometime last year around maybe October and 
that I believe it's because I was on birth control. Um, a lot of people say, your skin is so pretty, it's so beautiful. I'm just like, well, thanks, but I know what my skin used to look like. So I'm just like, how can you guys not notice that I have this like huge pimple on my face? Like, really? Like, and you're saying that my skin is really pretty? But um, I've been dealing with um, pimples around my mouth area um, and pimples that are generally in that area are due to hormones and like I said I was taking birth control and I believe that a lot of the um, hormones that are in birth control is what's causing my skin to break out I'm no longer taking it but I think maybe it has something to do with trying to um, you know get it push itself out of my system so being in aesthetic school I'll be able to um, find different products that I can use to kind of help um, balance my skin and to get my hormone levels um, back even out so um, if you guys like have any questions pertaining to the skin um, I'll try my best to answer them I am in school now um, I'm not an expert or anything yet but I will be in the program until next summer and um, I'll be able to go and take my state board so that I can be a licensed um, certified esthetician. And um, I think now this has really helped spark a lot of interest in um, the DIYs that I'm going to be doing. A lot of the DIYs are going to be doing are probably going to be skincare based with natural products and you know a lot of the other trends that are going on um, now depending maybe maybe not because being an, um, an aesthetic student you know there are just certain things that you're not supposed to put on your face so um, I try to make um, I guess adjustments to some of the ingredients that I do um, do um, if you guys are interested in some of the DIY masks that I plan on posting or if you if you've heard of one that you might want to try yourself but you're not sure if you want to try it reach out to me and I will I guess be the guinea pig and find out um, if these products really do work if you want somebody else to try them um, I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube that a lot of people do um, try these different type of masks and stuff but sometimes um, if you know me personally you're more likely to believe me when I tell you that yeah it really does work you should try it or no nah, you shouldn't do that uh, I don't think that's a good idea so just let me know if that's something you're interested in and also if you see you see there I have some more um, organi organization things over here if you're interested in another um, or organizational DIY hack video please thumbs up and let me know and I would love to do another one of those videos for you guys I'm sorry if the video is a little bit long but um, thank you guys for watching and supporting me on my journey. Um, I would like to mention I am going to be having a giveaway um, as soon as I hit 50 subscribers. I'm not that far away and if you are one of the lucky winners from my giveaway, um, if you live local I can deliver the product to you um, or I can have it sent to you. Um, I'll have more details on that when the time comes. Um, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.